award-winning video game franchise MLB The Show, which is developed by San Diego Studios, has been the number one baseball video game for years now. Its latest installment, MLB 18 The Show, officially released on March 27, 2018, it was a time of joy fan loyal fans of the game, including myself. Anyone who has had the opportunity to play MLB The Show will agree, it's the closest thing we can get to baseball on a virtual level. The realness of the stadiums, animations, and player appearances will have you questioning whether you're replaying a game or watching a live one. Another reason for the show's domination of the video game world is the endless research that goes into rating the players as accurately as possible. Each player has a rating of 0 to 99 for various traits, such as contact, power, speed, fielding, and so on. All of their ratings are accumulated to establish their overall rating. The maximum overall a player can reach is 99, and only a few players reach that mark in the 2018 version. The likes of Mike Trout, Jose Altuve, and Clayton Kershaw were the only to be given a 99 overall in this year's edition. The first thing I have always checked as soon as I get the newest edition is the ratings of the White Sox specifically. They are my go-to team in the game, so it's a must that I know what they'll be working with. It should NT come as a surprise, but the ratings of this year's White Sox team are not among the better half of the league. In fact, they are one of the lowest rated in the game. Team rating 1, 3 0, 1 being best pitching 27 the defense 30 thick contact 23 RD power 22 ND speed 6 overall 28 that White Sox being rated 28th should not come as a surprise. If it weren't for their speed being one of the best in the league, that 28 would be lower. They are rated dead last in defense, and that is a given considering they are typically one of the worst fielding teams in the league. The pitching rotation James Shields 69 over Miguel Gonzalez 72 over Ronaldo Lopez 71 over Lucas Giolito 67 over Carson Fulmer 63 over Given that the highest rating in the rotation is Gonzalez, it's easy to tell the Sox don't necessarily have one of the better rotations. With an average overall of 68, the Sox rotation is one of the weakest in the game. Fulmer was labeled as a relief pitcher in MLB 17 but made the switch to starter in this year's edition. The bullpen Aaron Bummer 48 over Hector Santiago 67 over Wies Avilan 78 over Danny Farquhar 68 over Gregory Infante 76 over Nate Jones 81 over Joachim Soria 77 over Juan Minaya 70 over the Sox bullpen has one of the highest rated right-handed relief pitches in the game in Jones, who was rated an 81. This off-season's additions, Avilan and Soria, are rated 78 and 77 respectively. Not only are these two veterans providing crucial depth for Rick Renteria's squad in real life, but they are adding a much-needed boost to the Sox virtual bullpen. The lineup Eo in Moncada 82 over Avasail Garcia 80 over Jose Abreu 82 over Matt Davidson 67 over Nicky Delmonico 67 over Wellington Castillo 81 over Team Anderson 76 over Ruama Sanchez 65 over Adam Engel 61 over the position players are what presents the biggest problems to me. I believe a couple of these players are a bit underrated. Abreu is my first example, though his 82 overall is tied for highest on the team, I believe it should be even greater. He has been one of the most consistent hitters since 2014, and I don't believe that is reflected in his overall. It's only a matter of time until the game is updated and Davidson's overall will increase. However, don't let his 67 overall fool you. He has one of the better power ratings in the game, with an 86 rating versus RHPs and a 76 versus LHPs. The Bencho, Man Alvarez 70 over Trace Thompson 70 over Larry Garcia 69 over the successfuls of Narvaez and Garcia and them a well-deserved boost in overall for 2018. Just like in real life, Garcia is very versatile in MLB The Show. He is listed as a left fielder but also has the ability to play 2B, 3B, SS, CF, and RF, making him a valuable player. Immortal Frank Thomas 93 OVR asterisk Immortal Jack McDowell 86 OVR asterisk 2005 Paul Konerko 87 OVR 1959 Luis Aparicio 87 OVR 2016 Adam Eaton 82 OVR 1985 Harold Baines 80 OVR 2011 Chris Sale 79 OVR 2009 Gordon Beckham 78 OVR 2012 Alejandro Diaz 77 OVR 1957 Larry Doby 76 OVR 
OBR1985 Carlton Fisk 75 OBR2008 Ken Griffey Jr. 72 OBR1972 Rich Gossage 70 OBR1980 Harold Baines 68 OBR2012 Jose Quintana 68 OBR Asterisk An immortal player is a player whose ratings are culminated based off of their career performance. One of the biggest changes MLB The Show has implemented over the years is the expanded use of legends in the game. Though this has nothing to do with this year's White Sox team, I always find legend ratings interesting. The developers of the game consistently release more and more legends throughout the year, so there will soon be more to come. This is also the first year Thomas has been featured as a legend in MLB The Show, and he easily takes the top rating of White Sox legends. Simulation considering MLB The Show is considered arguably the most accurate virtual representation of Major League Baseball, I decided to take the time to simulate through the 2018 and see how our Sox perform in the virtual world and pick out some notable stat lines from virtual Sox players. How did they do? According to the show, the White Sox will finish with a record of 76-86, 10.0 games behind the Cleveland Indians for first place in the American League Central, and 11.0 games behind the Red Sox and Orioles for one of the wild card spots. A brew will finish the with a .316 average, 34 home runs, and 99 RBIs. Davidson will finish with a .217 average, 27 home runs, and 67 RBIs. Moncada will finish with a .269 average, 14 home runs, and 52 RBIs, Anderson will finish with a .199 average, 9 home runs, and 38 RBIs, Shields will finish with a 5-10 record, a 3.97 era, and 119 strikeouts, Lopez will finish with a 6-14 record, a 5.24 era, and 120 strikeouts. Also, Abreu will win the batting title highest average in the league, Abreu will participate in the home run derby, Abreu and Soria will be the only White Sox elected to the Al All-Star team. According to ACMLB The Show, 2018 will see another year of playoffs that don't include the White Sox. However, it predicts that Abreu will break out this year and win the batting title to go along with 34 home runs. It also predicts Anderson will hit a slump in 2018, with his predicted batting average being below .200 at .199, so as the White Sox continue to rebuild, MLB The Show has them finishing 2018 with a respectable 76-86 record. Will their eventual fate be similar to this simulation or will the White Sox not reach 76 wins we won't know until October? One thing we can be sure about, however, is that MLB The Show is one of the most realistic baseball experiences there is, and whatever it predicts could very well end up being somewhat accurate.